anthem, a man who is invited to perform the national anthem before Game 5 of the 1968 World Series by Tigers Hall of Fame broadcaster Ernie Harwood. Please welcome Jose Feliciano! Ceremony, Jose Feliciano is going to sing the national anthem here at Comerica Park. Holy cow. It's messed up. Mickey Lowley, let him explain it. Yeah, he did sort of uh, screw me up in that uh, game because I pitched that fifth game when he, he uh, sang the national anthem. Uh, warming up in the bullpen down at Tiger Stadium, which was down the left field line, you were actually standing in the shadows of the stadium for a one o'clock ball game in the afternoon. And being it was October, there was a slight chill in the air, and I started to warm up, and I was just starting to get loose when the national anthem took place. And as you know, that Jose sang his version of the national anthem, which by today's standards would be fantastic, you know. But in those days, it was a little bit different, and it was sort of a long version. And when he got done. I basically almost had to start rewarming up again, and I hadn't even got around to throwing a breaking ball because when you warm up in the bullpen, you start warming up at a certain time on the clock, get your throwing in, and then go out to the mound. And that time that it took him to sing it really didn't fit right with my time to get warm. And when I went out to pitch the first inning of the fifth game, I hadn't even thrown a curveball yet. And as you know, I scared the hell out of all you people by letting them get a three to nothing lead in the first inning. And then I settled down and everything worked out fine. <laughs> your attention, please. Please rise and join in the singing of our national anthem, which will be played by Merle Albee's band and will be sung by Jose Feliciano. Bye. 
Michigan.